today we have uh, another searching waste problem here the problem is that uh, you are given an array and that array will denote that uh, these are the citations for one author so whenever a, a author uh, does some research work and publishes his or her work uh, different people who work on the same area they cite their paper if they are using the concepts so uh, let's say uh, some author has published three papers and first paper got a uh, zero citation second paper got three citations and third paper got four citations and here you will be given the input in ascending order so here you have to find the h index for this author so this is the data for one author so what h index means that uh, how many papers are at least more than so if there are k papers who are which are cited more than k number of times then h index will be k so here uh four is there so what can be the h index can h index be four so how many times how many papers have been cited more than or equal to four times just one so this four does not match with this count so both are same you see this number of citations number of papers which are cited k or more times should be more than k so can it be three so three or more only two papers are cited so it cannot be three also can it be zero yes zero can be there but we have to find the maximum of that so we will return two so so uh, two papers have been cited more than a or equal to two times this is the condition so two papers have been cited in fact more than or equal to three times but we cannot make it any higher so we cannot find three papers cited more than or equal to three but we can find two papers which have been cited more than or equal to two so the h index for this will be two now let's look at a bigger example so that it's much more clear so uh, first approach we will take is linear time o n then this will develop the concept then we will use uh, this sorting property uh, to a better level and we will use binary search to reduce it to order log n so let's uh, start with the linear solution so we will start from this index last index so uh, are there 13 or more papers which have been cited more than 13 times no 13 just one paper has been cited 13 or more times so uh, we look for lower value this 13 cannot be h index since we need 13 or more papers to have a value of more than 13 so we come here do we have 10 or more papers with a value of 10 no we have just two then we come here do we have eight or more papers with a value more than eight no so we again come to a smaller value do we have five or more papers with a value more than or equal to five no we have four we are close next we come here do we have at least four papers with a value of greater than or equal to four yes we have these five these all five papers are at least more than or equal to four so we have found a value so we will return 4 so what time it will take we will start from end we can break in the end itself but we can keep going until we find a value so let's say we found a value i for which ai if this array is a a ai is less than uh, n minus i so this is n will be here n minus i will be this count so we have to find the rightmost i from the beginning or leftmost from the end you can start from beginning also this should work so you see uh, do we have uh, at least zero papers more than or equal to zero yes so we keep going until we reach five then we take the previous index that is till here it's valid similarly from right we will come here so both ways it will work 
and finally we will return this difference n minus i minus 1 since here it's let's say this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so n minus i will be 8 minus 3 which is 5 so it will be always 1 less due to this 0 indexing so we have to return this value so it's very simple you can start from beginning or end you can modify it now let's look at the uh, log n solution since it's sorted we can apply binary search here so here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so L left index will be here right index will be here mid will be 0 plus 7 by 2 that is here so mid is here so what we will compare here if this is again A if A mid is less than N minus mid N minus mid, mid is number of papers with citation more than or equal to this value all the values to the right so if this is less than mid that means at least we have so this is a valid index so we have at least uh, four or more papers more than this so we know that uh, that value that we were looking for will lie in this range everything here is valid so we move L here one position to the right of this and again do the same thing and uh, if it's more that is a mid is more than or equal to n minus mid so let's say this is this value is a of mid and this n minus mid denotes how many values are here this is the count of values more than this value and here this value is more than this count that means there are not enough papers with a value of more than or equal to this that means we have to look in left part we have to move to a smaller value remember when we did not find enough number of papers with a value more than or equal to 8 we move to a smaller value are there enough papers with citation of 5 if not again move to the left so this is the condition we don't have enough number of papers with citation more than or equal to the mid value so we will go to a smaller values we will look for it in the this range so here what we will do we will move r to the left of mid and we will continue this till left is less than equal to r and when this breaks then that means we are very close so l will come here and r will come here one after each other and we will return n minus l so that value will be uh, this so what we are looking for so let's uh, write the code for this we will write both the codes both are simple we can write them without taking much time so the linear part is I will start from the end just like we saw in the explanation you can start from beginning with slight change in logic So if we find this condition then we break we have a valid scenario and this is the first one since we started from right otherwise keep decrementing it so that this reaches till the end maybe it's possible that uh, it reaches even the first value and still it could not find enough number of papers let's see an example so let's say we have 50, 54, 57 author just published 
three papers but all of them are popular so do we have enough number of papers with more than do we have 57 or more papers with this number of citations no just one do we have 54 or more papers with this number of citation no do we have 50 or more papers no so finally we will reach here so this can be also a case so if it does not break ultimately i will become minus one so that's it let's try so our answer is a one less than expected let's see why is that So this would be n minus i so we are at ith index so the number of elements to the right we had mis made a mistake here so that works so let's uh, try the other solution that is that is log n solution so let's comment it out left index is 0 right index is n minus 1 and while l is less than equal to r if it's less than n minus mid so if uh, mid is less than n minus mid that means this is valid and we have to try to find a higher h value you can always uh, return 0 that will be valid but we have to return the maximum of valid index so this mid is valid so we shift left to 1 plus mid else r is mid minus 1 and finally we return n minus l and this is valid let's submit and the solution is accepted let's look at the time so it takes around 36 milliseconds so we are here 85.35 percent of the submissions now in uh, java and python let's just write this better solution which is login solution using binary search so no change required here apart from the size converting to length and this is also accepted and this time is even better it's 0 millisecond and we are right here better than 100% of submissions now let's uh, do this in python 3 again not much change required here it will complain in python if this this is not integer in c++ and java that's not required and the solution is accepted in python as well here it's taking more time than java and c++ solution we are, but we are right at the main part of this distribution 